now we're stranded on this island together. We've really got to work out some sort of hierarchy. Who's the most important? Who's the most beautiful? Who's the most beautiful? Honestly, I am the most beautiful. She's just proving much harder than I anticipated. She has made her claim to being the most beautiful. First of all, I'd like to say that you can't speak unless you're holding the conch. And I have to remember to rehydrate every... This is my own urine. It's a sort of initiation, if you drink my piss. <laughs> Why is it pissy? Are you thirsty? Do you want some? Do you want some of the, the piss? <laughs> Somebody should have got a hair clip with them like I did. I've got one spare bobby pen and a little sly, a French sly. Tastes like wild grass. You have got an engorged liver. Anyway, I don't need that half of a piss because I can just have a bit fresh whenever I want. You said piss, not shit. <laughs> Celebrity Big Brother. Mm. All right then. I'll tell. Oh, it's nasty that. <clears throat> oh, where are you up to? Just going over here. Mine will get your eyes caught in your shoe. That's just why I like my hair. <laughs> You've had a short too, haven't you? It was much more sensible when I knew we were coming out to this desert island. I just thought, what would be a nice, sensible haircut? What would go well with my snazzy beach body bathing beauty bonanza? Well, you look dead professional with your hair up like that. I mean, it's more than can be said for hair over there, eh? <laughs> You're right. I'm fine, it's just it's such a small island. It's not like it looked on Thomas Cook. Do you think they'll give us a refund? I don't know. I'm certainly not going to give any good trip advantage with you. I mean... I can see outside, but I don't know if they can see us. Have they put up an, an SOS sign, like, uh... Well, the real reason I came on this show was... Girls, girls, listen up, listen up. Guys and girls. The real reason I came on this show was to surprise you today. Oh, let me sit down instead of yourself. I think you all need to sit down. They don't take surprises well. Um. I've told you about getting your hair caught in your shoes. Careful, please. Dear me. What I wanted to tell you is that I'm your mother. I've had a DNA test and it's, it's been fully proven that I am your mother. I had you when I was very young. Who the bloody hell's Ellen then? What's she been... what? How has this happened? How can you... Well, Helen only ever said what I was feeding her through an earpiece the whole time. So as you were growing up in Sheffield or some England... Um, Lancashire. Lancashire. Lanc the county of Lancashire. Lancashire. On ITV, like Davina McCall and all that. Well, I was going to do it on a cruise, but... Um, this was cheaper and I thought we had a lot of things to work through. Um, things to work through? I've been eating sushi for three weeks. Oh, more sushi. I have a way to tell Mel to tell us. Well, let's sit down and more sushi. But why do you sit down with your long-lost sister, David, who's here as well? You were wondering who, who your long-lost sister was. And, um, well, I wasn't. Well, you can tell because now. I am. You've got the same hair. I think the whole world can tell now that you're definitely um, related. Do you have a look? I mean, we're a couple of bottles of conditioner apart, but... Well, see, I was doing a, conducting a... Um, I was conducting a social experiment and I gave one of my children to a nice couple in Lancashire, Helen and Tristram, and I gave another one of my children, David, to a pack of wolves that had just been reintroduced into the Scottish Highlands. But the great thing about kids is that they always know who their mum is and they all always like a bit of sweaty sushi. So who wants a piece? Yeah. Well, if I put it on the floor for, your, for David, it might be better. Don't get the plastic. I hear lots at the back because the wolves, they like to eat each other's 
Let's start debating what's in this chapter and see. So how do you feel after this nice surprise? Well, I'm not really sure what to make of it, to be totally honest with you. Now this wolf woman is eating sushi off the floor and he's saying that Helen and Tristan aren't my real parents. I just, it's a lot to take in, to be totally honest. I just don't know what to make of it. Well, it was just a very good social experiment for me to be able to go back to work and not have to look after my kids, but also now I can reintroduce you to my way of life without you guys having ruined it for me. But a social experiment. I've grown up in a two-bed semi in, in Lancashire and and you're telling me that was always some twisted experiment that you thought up that would be a good idea. I just I'm not I feel I feel like a chess piece in an elaborate game of chess that I'm not really I don't really understand. And I think I prefer drafts, regular drafts, if you if I'm totally honest. And I'm not sure how I feel about you right now. I just I don't well, I, I wanna be on this island if I'm totally honest. I think you got your two-bed semi, but that's how I enabled myself to have beautiful things around me. And, you know, I wouldn't have been able to keep nice things around me and have a very sick pug who I looked after. If there'd been kids running around the house, they would have broken my, my wedge wood and my Denby serveware. And it would have been a... Fuck your Denby serveware. Fuck your Denby serveware. It's very important for women of my social stature to have nice things around. David understands. No, I don't. He's got the brain set of a wolf. Well, wolves have been reintroduced into the Scottish Highlands. And they're feeding them off their sushi because most of the sushi in the country comes from Norway, where the wolves also come from. No way! No fucking way! She's chasing me! It's day four on the island the, of this social experiment to get mothers and daughters re-interacting and reintroducing them into the wild and to be honest I don't think it's going very well and I have to drink my piss out of this plastic bottle instead of using my nice stemware my, my water crystal stemware that I've got at home so it's I'm finding it very hard to be honest and I think I need to go back home Day 5 on some island somewhere Right, well so this woman who brought us here, right she's just told us she's just told us that she's actually my mum and that Ellen and Tristram are not the real parents and that, that that wolf, that wolf girl she's like my sister but she was reared by the wolves so does that make my, my in-laws wolves? What is, what the fuck's going on? I just, it's, I just don't really, she said she did it so that her pup would have a happy life in amongst all the crockery I just, the mind boggles Just don't. I'm sick of drinking piss, it tastes horrible. Well, anyway, really good. <coughs> All been put together for this exciting TV show, and I really, for one, feel better about my life choices. And that I gave you both away when I did. And that you've been able to form your own lives. She's just got very tangled hair. So what happens if you grow up in the highland? The wolves don't care for hairdressers. She's quite pedal. I suppose we need to all learn to live together if we're ever going to get off this island. I always thought David was my most attractive child. It's just when you say things like that, it just really winds me up. Try and stay calm on this fucking island, and then you go and just say sensitive things like that. What you must have to understand is that I didn't really want, want you, but I just knew that you have a better life, not surrounded by all my. My chat and chips and little bits and bobs I collected on my transatlantic journeys. And I just knew that as an independent jet set businessman, I couldn't look after you as well as Tristram and Shelley could. And I made the decision, for the sake of both of you, but also science, to donate you to very different families from different, you know, backgrounds. And I understand you're upset that you didn't get to live with the, the wolves, which obviously where there isn't no class system at all, and you, it's an eat or be eaten sushi kind of lifestyle. I think. You know what, I'm happy that I live with Ellen Tristram instead of with the wolves over in Wolverhampton.